Hello Total War Gamers, my name is Deacon and welcome back to our Mortal Empires Tyrion campaign. We've just beaten Heinrich Kemmler here in Museum. It was a very odd occasion to meet him here anyway, but uh, it did happen. So now we're leveling up Tyrion and um, yeah, I, I gave it some good thought what to put, uh, the, where to spend the points that we just gained. And it's, we have, we're having to make a choice in this line, so I'm going to go over each of them and uh, see, motivate why I tend to think of what. There's t uh, multiple uh, buffs, there's like campaign things, there's um, Tyrion related buffs and then army or unit related buffs. Now um, here is public order plus 2 and speed plus 5%. Here is Winds of Magic, here is Armor, and here is Leadership, Income, Vanguard Deployment for, I think, only the White Lines of Grace. Then this is Physical Resistance. There's also Leadership for Arches and Spearmen and Upkeep Reduction and Casualty Replenishment Rate. But there's many other ways to get that as well, uh, like in the, the tree here. This gives a plus 15% replenishment rate already, so that's very nice. Um, and eventually the spearmen and archers are just going to be replaced with other kinds of units in Tyrion's army. Now leadership is nice, but he's not going to run. And dragon units, we're going to have very few of them. So uh, melee defense plus 3. And charge bonus plus 5. I th I'm thinking the best bonus for Tyrion is to get the speed buff. And then put him on Malhunt here. And give him speed of Assyrian. And he's just going to be a very fast guy. Which is probably a, w a much better way to keep him alive. Get him out of trouble on his mount. Uh, rather than any of the other buffs. And it gives also plus 2 public order. Which is nice to uh, get new conquests settled down into our empire. Well, the, the, the Phoenix Guards, I don't really think they need uh, their leadership, but the upkeep production is also kind of nice. So I think uh, Assyrian is just going to be the way to go. And then um, I am going to go for Malhandir eventually. Uh, like right now. So, that is out the of the way. Good has uh, triumphed. Talandor Doomstar, our new high mage, is a technology stealer. But we're also going to give him stuff to do during battle. Like um, getting more winds of magic. There. Um, so, that kind of finishes our turn from the previous round. So if you want to see how we spent the previous you round, called. then you should have a look in the previous episode. Um, we're kind of uh, Can I offer assistance? You have traveled far to scraping together the an throne. army to resist uh, the beastmen. We've declared war on them like many turns ago, but they've decided it was a good moment Do you know to who I actually Protector run across of and One. come visit us. I will receive your petition Price. in the name of... And they don't want to do anything with us, like military alliance. King Luan Leonke. Bretonia suddenly gave us a military alliance, but... Um, there's nothing to send him to. I haven't discovered any of the, the scaling things. So I can't send him north. Uh, the, maybe I should just send over a mage, discover some stuff here and get him on a journey of conquest in the north. That'd be proper for him. Ready. Empire is already at war with anyone, so I don't want to send him anywhere. Uh, for the rest... Estalia is not giving us trade Deliver your for message. whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, Kislev, Kislev, same story. Let us toast Urson. Urson. So, uh, yes. <clears throat> um, Eltharion 
has been uh, the reinforcement the army guardian of the phoenix crown and a whole army is going to move back to marching oh, out. i think for now our business on in the on the on the mainland here is done sort of they're also uh, <laughs> Scraping for money to keep our public order at a reasonable level. So we'll we, have, we have to see. Two more turns from the global is too long, really. Protector of Alfon. So, oh uh, yeah, the beastman. We just have to see. Defender of the Ever. We're already uh, moving people over. So let's build you this and order. keep it going, keep the campaign going. So let's see what the beastmen do and what our allies do. And um, oh, boom, boom, boom. E1 against uh, go, 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 I wonder if he lost any of his units there. However, I could have recruited more. Maybe I should have gone for walls or a garrison improving building here. Well, I don't know. But Oh, my armies are going to come after this guy. Sure. Illyrian. Yeah. Go think. Trade gain. This is good. Builder. Um, at Le Saili. Yes. Promenade. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to we stand keep at ready it this for way. Action. Um, I am going to. Wow, this is expensive. I'm gonna make it as, as cheap as possible. Oops, that that was already cheap. So, Defender of the uh, Alit Anar, on. come this way. Command me. And you come ashore. Oh, Musion is now Returnian. Wonderful. Your orders. Uh, go into force on response. Come ashore here. Moving out. Until next time. That's. Oh, we've encountered von Karsteins. Oh, yeah, around the world. Other side of the world. And <clears throat> lady. Yeah, these are over Blew here. You up. This is so funny. They just had a, a naval battle and then they totally didn't get hurt at all. Which I think at is your service. stupid. Preparing camp. Yep. So, diplomacy. Um, Asur Princess. I'd like you Welcome. to. What would you have the Asur do? Hmm. Tyrannoch. I want a military alliance. A wise course. Okay. Oh, they're at war with Cult of Pleasure. And are we losing? I'm gonna come to their aid now. You called? Well chosen words and fine wine are the mark. Oh, well chosen speak. words. Speak! I speak for the Phoenix King. And the so, Empire. Are we? Friends of the Empire. Oh, we are Come. already military allies, are we? I guess. You're in war with everyone. And. Um, so. Italia. Deliver How about your message. some trade? Oh. What? Portland. 
Maybe Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Us, the now, nice I don't agree. Miles, hey. Kislev. Kislev. Welcome to Kislev. Let's hear it. Let's the hear Phoenix it. The Phoenix Throne will hear your plea. Non-aggression. Absurd. Absurd. Okay, you say so. And now we're getting into the nasties. There you go. Um. So in terms of. Princess. Um. Influence. We have forty-five in terms of lords. We have one, two, three, four, five lords. Six lords and armies. So I'm not going to use influence for that. And um. Can we get the Nagarite to like us? Just says only costing four. So we've done that once. Let's keep it at that. Then pass the turn, see what happens. And we're building our archive, aren't we? How long is that going to take? Two more Order turns, which is wonderful because we're running out of um, possibilities to recruit stuff. Beastmen haven't engaged us, at least not yet. I'm gonna have to send Illyrian after them again. <laughs> Also, go after them myself again. They are now priority target number one. Kazrak Lumonai. And then Morathi. Arnheim has to come back into the colonies of the High Elves. We're just gonna sit there, fight Dark Elves. Rank Orion. Tyrion plus five. Tiara plus five. Oh, how You're nice. Free. This is so nice. Pom 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 pom. Princess of Alpwan. I only need to beat you once. That's Prince all. Of Elfwan. There you go. Journeying on. Eltarion, come this way. <laughs> Horses. Tyrion. Tyrion, heir of Anarion. Heir of Anarion. Averland. Uh, Kalador, military, Tyrannok, military ally. Avalon. What the next brings you to the Phoenix Court? Group of Hyals that has to form a military alliance with us. Prince of. Your word Grace. shall reach the Phoenix throne. Nagarite. Your request? His Majesty's court will listen to your request. Um, non-aggression. Impossible. Okay. Yes. Upperland, new faction. Greetings on oh, behalf of the Empire. Now, what brings you here Those with reactors. a shield? All right. All right. There you go. And who calls? Nordland. Trade. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Disagree with that? Okay. Uh, who calls? Greetings. Uh, Kislev. Kislev. Not gonna Welcome to I know, Kislev. but you know, I have to keep trying. So, hmm. All right, uh, let's use our uh, intrigue import again for Nagarai. Intrigue relations. Plus 15. Uh. Too bad that there wasn't an easier way. Speak. And Lothern is gonna have military buildings that I can't afford right now, like grazing meadows or a grove. But a grove is kind of wasted. Um, because it's in tier three, so I'm, I'm going to build that elsewhere. Hmm. 
Farrier is also kind of wasted here. Can build it all elsewhere. That's interesting. We're, gonna, we're, we're more likely to focus on this stuff here, and that one, and that one, and that one, rather than these three. It's all going to have to go elsewhere. Hmm. I'm going to build a Shrine of Assyrian here. Once I have the funds for it. And the Dragon's Lair. And the Mages, I don't know, because we're also building that in the... In, where is it, Tor Ifres? One more turn. Oh, uh, so we've done our things again. And public order is slowly improving here. Or slowly. Slowly but surely. Beastmen are attacking J. Address. Which is an awful name, but okay. Let's go for it. I'm all out of coffee. But it's almost uh, dinner time as well, so after this, I'm gonna have a little break eating some stuff. The balance of power said this fight is in our favor. I see one unit of Minotaurs with triple gold experience. Triple gold chevrons. Triple gold experience chevrons. Kazrak the one I himself though, not the strongest. Um, okay. I'm gonna go sit here and start the battle. And here is a princess. Alright, uh, let's go infantry, no, let's go large against minotaurs. You also go large against minotaurs. And then we'll spare men. Are they shielded? Yes, they have shields, so let's not go against them. Go also shielded. Okay, minotaurs it is then. Minotaurs. Bonus against large. On to the flanks. Minotaurs. Noble. Uh, into the Minotaurs. So it just isn't any different. We are full of ranged power and we need to keep at it. Okay, Illyrian Reavers want to. On to the Minotaurs and skirmish. Okay, my Noble. Oh, can we slow it down a little bit? Because it's kinda messy here. Uh, okay, boar herd, and uh, Angor spare herd. These ones change to infantry, anti-infantry on the Angor herd. You are gonna have to come this way, and ooh, let's get the pressure on these guys. my noble into the spares please and uh, Illyrian Reavers okay come back here stop skirmishing come this way and this princess is gonna go into melee with the Angor Raiders Mm. 
Mm. Okay, I'm going to focus everything on Kazrak, the one eye right now. Oh, my archers on Kazrak. If we destroy their leadership, the rest should soon follow. My noble, where are you? And these guys, I hope they're not skirmishing. No, they're not. Are you skirmishing? No, you're not. Are you? No, you're not. So, but now we are going to have to pull you back. Ooh, is that difficult? It is. Skirmish against corded with shields. Come on, lady, rush in here. Both my spare units are uh, routing. Not good. And what's this? Lightly armored arches. Not a good place for you to be. Just quit skirmishing. You quit skirmishing. You have to go into them. The downside with. Okay, this is a princess. Just go move this way. Head into these. Um, can you fire on the minotaurs again? Because they're coming back. Princess. I want my spearmen to rally because otherwise they're going to walk off the map and then we're going to be in trouble. But I fear for them. I think it's too late. Loader and Seaguard. Um, let's go, go melee down Kazrak the One Eye. And Princess into the Ungo Raiders. And my Illyrian Reavers. Eagle Claw Ball Thrower. Eliminate those Minotaurs fast. They're down to one now. Did we save the Spearmen? Have rallied. Wonderful. Into this Angora Warhood. There's only one unit though. We've lost the other. Okay. So now we are getting them. They're wavering, but they're not yielding. Okay. Minotaurs have crumbled. Let's fire into this incredible, wonderful bunch. And my princess here. Just scare them all away. Is any of my... Yeah, my Illyrian Reavers are wavering. Come. Come back. Disengage. Did we kill their uh, thing? Their Kazrak. I think so. Angor. Oh no, Kazrak. Still very much alive. Reavers into the forest, friends. So these spearmen run into them. And are we dealing damage? Sort of. Lothiel Princess. Okay, go for them. Hmm. And. Oh, my Reavers have routed. Stop skirmishing, though. It'll make you rout. Noble, where are you? Noble, oh, you're in all this. Wonderful. Archers. Shoot them. Shoot them. Shoot them. Oh no. What this is? Got four herd with shields. I'm gonna have to shoot these. Oh, this is all routing here. 
So Prince says, please switch targets to these raiders and you guys shoot them. So we are going to make it, but it's quite the challenge here. So move into the backs of these girls. This flank is, is it secure? No. Lothern Sea Guard, where is Kazrak? Right in the middle of my Lothern Sea Guard. He is exhausted though. So my noble can now go on to Kazrak. None of my uh, lords have any abilities because they're all straight out of the box. Losers, they are broken. So fire down on these arches and route them. Oh, my princess is now routing. This princess come down on these Angle Raiders. Which one is this? Lothiel, which is like the, the strongest of the bunch. Okay, so shoot into these. Shoot into these. Shoot into these. And shoot into these. I think we're gonna lose this uh, princess. Because Kazrak is still in here, not dying. Hmm. So, Reavers charge into this unit here. Spares, get them running. They're all wavering, so gun down these girls guys everything else archer hit these get them to stop firing on our princess Hidden foes. That no good. So my two reavers come join this. My princess needs to get away from these very annoying archers. Then I'm going to send my cavalry against these. Wow. These 96 Ungor Raiders are going to undo my... Um, spares on these. No, run into the forest. Hide below the trees. Duck! Dodge these bullets! Dodge them! Okay, Reavers into them! Noble! Finish off Kazrak the one eye here.
Ooh, she's just getting away. <laughs> she's barely getting away here. So all this archery bunch. This bunch. Just this bunch. On these Angor Raiders. Princess. Melee down. These girls, guys. And these two just fire on Kazrak. These archers, are you in range of anything that you could potentially damage? Yes. Oh, we're winning this now and we've we've all survived. Ouch. That was very close. You've almost lost because I spent quite a bit of uh, influence to get Lothiel. It's like a 60 influence uh, lord or princess. So I really wanted to keep her. Maybe this was a little bit messy. A messy battle. But We've kept her alive and that is a good thing. So I'm going to rename her right after and give her a proper name. And I already know what it's going to be. We're going to name her after the bestest of the Pantheon. Actually, the all the captives. There you go. Trade game, Beast Scorch. She defeated Kazarak the One Eye. Oh, wow. So now she's gonna have a fear attribute. So they're both uh, gonna have to be renamed. And Kislev is now at war with the Varg. So maybe we can get them to deal with us if we also declare war on the Varg and then trade. How about that? Um, but anyway, we're gonna have to. Oh, we've, we've done something with a right. Give me 35 influence and an unhappy populace. We'll deal with the unhappy people. Um, so. J address. We're gonna rename you Ifrain. And. Defender of the Asser. Lothiel. You are going to be named Ariel, which is proper for someone who survives under such circumstances. Protector of Althuan. And now you can go into I second this. regular Moving out. movement. Oh. Sit here. Starting out. Ready. And we're going to deal with uh, the, the remainder here. Kazrak. We're going to... Save that for the next episode though. So you want to come back, see me deal with that. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell button. Leave a like if you indeed have enjoyed this episode. And see you next time.